In this video, we are going to use a table of values to see what the limit of this quantity is. We are going to use Excel to create a table of values. So uh, let's uh, create a set of values for X. Okay, we have gone through like up to 202. So we have one plus one over what we got here. Since we are going to let X vary along uh, this column, so we will just click on a cell and that will take on the value of that variable. So of course at X equals one it is two, but uh, you can see that very fast it's like uh, converging or stabilizing to, to about like 2.71. Okay, so let's go for larger values. Say we go to, say, in the increment of 1000. Okay, so here you go. So you have, we will just go and, you know, take a bunch of values here. And uh, again, we will type in the expression. And for the variable, we are going to click on this cell from the column where we, our variables are stored. Okay, so there we go. And now here you can see that uh, it is, say, st stabilizing near here, you know, 2.7182. Uh, uh, let's just be a little ambitious for maybe, maybe the last time, all right? So how about we go in the increment of millions, okay? All right, so here we go. So we have, um, we go down and then yeah, we will stop the process once we have reached our objective. So here we have one over, now our variables are in the column E and uh, we repeat the same thing. So we get like 2.718282 and that's what the pattern seems to be like here, right? 2.718282 uh, approximately. So let's take this value and see what the limit would be. So what was the value from the spreadsheet? We had this value. And uh, if we ask, a, you know, ask this package, see the value is E and this E is that uh, transcendental number. Which number? So you have E, excuse me, so you got E as, uh, this is, let me see. So like uh, if we go this far, nine places from the decimal sign, that's right here, okay? So, I mean, of course, uh, this is a three, so up to this place, this value and this value they are matching and you can you can go ahead and have more fun with that and we are going to do it uh, deductively in calculus all right